So, ating ipagpatuloy ang ating paglalakbay kasama si Jesus sa pamamagitan ng ating pagninilay sa salita ng Diyos. Iba ang dating ng panahon ng kwaresma. Nakapokus po tayo sa ating pagka makasalanan, kakulangan. At yun naman ang katotohanan. We often uh, deny that, but that is the truth. We are all sinners in need of conversion. Kaya paulit-ulit sinabi natin after the first reading, Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Panginoon, wag mo kami tingnan ayon sa aming mga kasalanan. Because if uh, the Lord will not forgive our sins, who can stand before His presence? So, ito ang pagninilin natin sa mga pagbasa ngayong araw na ito from the book of Daniel and from the Gospel of Luke. Both readings, they focus on forgiveness. So, in the first reading, the prophet Daniel offered a beautiful prayer in behalf of the nations, in behalf of his people, asking the Lord for forgiveness. Lord, we have sinned before you. We have not listened to you. We have not followed our religious leaders or the teachings, the, co the, co the co covenant we have made to you aming pakipagtipan sa iyo, lagi naming tinalikuran, sinira, hindi namin tinupad. Pero alam namin, nandiyan ka, maawa ka sa amin, punong-puno ka ng habag. That's why we come to church, because we have hope. God is a forgiving God. God will give, always give us hope in life. No matter what we have done, God will be there to help us rise above our mistakes and above our faults. In the Gospel, Jesus tells us, as He was telling His disciples, to be merciful, to forgive. Alam po ninyo, isa sa mga maiksing salita o mahirap uh, ibikas, no? aminin, no? I was wrong. Madali tayong nagra-rationalize, nagbibigay ng dahilan. No? I was wrong. Ako'y mali. Mahirap sabihin yun kasi may pride tayo. Meron tayong kumisan pagka mayabang. Ayaw nating aminin ang ating kakulangan, ang ating kamalian. And yet, that's what we do. And that's what we should do. When we make mistakes, we are all human. We commit mistakes. So, learn to say, not just, I'm sorry, I was wrong. And so, during this season of Lent, we are asked to pray to, most of the time, before the crucifix. Sa harap ng cross. Bakit? When you are before Jesus, you cannot just compare yourself with others. You compare yourself with the generosity of God, with the forgiveness of God. Then we can say nothing. But when you compare yourself to your neighbor, to somebody, you can always say, I'm a better person than this guy, than this person. Maybe you're right. But see yourself before God. And we are supposed to imitate Jesus in His forgiveness. So I hope and pray that someday when we meet the Lord, or not that someday, every day, we can say, Lord, I've tried to forgive, to love, the way you love me, the way you forgive me. You forgive me without remembering. You always forget the past. You forgive me without limits. You love me without condition. Tayo, pinatawad po na siya, pero wag lang nang siya magpakita sa akin. Hindi ko makakalimutan kanyang ginawa. That's not 
Christian forgiveness. Christian forgiveness is reflected on the crucifix. Look at Jesus, the way he forgives you, the way he forgives us. He forgets, does not remember. So let's pray in this Mass that we will have amnesia. <laughs> yung madaling makalimot, yung hurt na gawa ng ibang tao, yung sugat, saktan na tayo. Pero tayo, ilang beses natin sinakta ng Diyos. And yet He does not remember. He forgives every time we go to Him. Let's pray that we'll always be loving without condition and to forgive the way the Lord forgives. He forgives and He forgets. He starts with a new relationship, a new bonding with us. Amen.